Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. In today's exercise, we are going to use sheet metal feature and make this simple exercise. But here we are going to learn about jog features. This is very important feature. If you are going to make these kinds of bends in uh, solid works uh, manually, you need too much calculation because here bending allowance involved. But with the help of jog tools, you can create this kind of bends easily. So let's see how to do this simple exercise in SOLIDWORKS and learn some basic features of SOLIDWORKS sheet metal. Here is the new exercise in SOLIDWORKS and we will make with the help of SOLIDWORKS sheet metal feature. See, in notes you will see all bend around k factor 0.5, all bend radius. Bend radius always counts from inside 0.5. And this is Gusset's dimension and all dimensions in millimeter. You will see here flattened view of this and uh, here you will see the bending table. Now we are going to start with this front face. See this width if you are going to check 80 millimeter and height is 60 millimeter. Thickness you will see here 0.5 millimeter. And inside radius, there is a radius, hole, actually 55 millimeter, actually it should be a hole. Then if you see the section view, 30 millimeter extend from outer side. And if we are going to check this view, okay. Now here corner fillet, R10, and there is two hole, and this is 6.5 millimeter and this distance is 60, 20 from here. So let's make. So I'll choose front plane, a sketch. Now activate circle. Now first outer circle diameter will be 80. Inside one, 55. Now activate line tool. Make sure it is horizontal, a vertical line, connect this point, right click or skip key. Now click this line, vertical, that's it. Activate smart dimension and this 60 millimeter. But in sheet metal, you have to trim unnecessary lines. So go to feature and activate trim entity, click power trim, just press left mouse and drag. See, it's trimmed. Okay, this is closed geometry, so we don't need to more define anything. Right click, go to tabs and activate sheet metal features or sheet metal tab. Now activate feature flange or feature tab. See, use gauge no. Now thickness 1.5 and it is moving back side, it's okay. K factor is 0.5. This is the standard, so we are going to take with the help this one. Say okay look now activate age flange now click this one and drag here okay now the first thing radius inside radius 1.5 it is written in our drawing angle degree it's 90 and flange length blind and uh, See, length we are going to count, count from outer virtual shaft, from outside. And how much the length is? 30 millimeter. Material also we will keep inside. You will see. If I am going to check outside, see how it's moving downward. So let's keep material inside. And rest keep as it is. We don't need to change anything else. Say yes. Look. Now let's deactivate real view. Okay. Now corner break, corner trim. Now here I am going to choose fillet. This radius 10 millimeter. Now I am going to choose one, two. These two corners applied. Say yes. Look. Now here one more option called simple hole. Okay. Click this face and it's automatically placed. First change 6.5. Now, now hold center point and move. If you 
I am keep my cursor here and I, you will see a center point. I am going to fix leave. See it is fixed here. Say OK. That's it. Because this center from outside to here, this radius is 10. So you will see this is 20 millimeter. Okay, now we will try to make mirror this. Now here the next feature we are going to make this flange. This flange center distance you will see outside 15 and from bottom edge 22.5, 6.5 this whole diameter, 7.5 this outer. And if you see here, this is flush with this means material inside. And this is the cutout length 1.5, 1.5 means it is exactly one ratio of the thickness. So let's activate edge flange. Click this one and go back side. See, click edit flange. Now I'm going to move somewhere like here, like here. Now activate three point R, connect this point to this point, just draw a half circle, activate circle. Now this circle diameter is 6.5, right click, a smart dimension, outer radius 7.5, that's it. Now distance from inside it's 15 now the dimension from outside of this edge 22.5 see this is fully defined this sketch just click this center line construction line make it construction line go to back now here we have to change some more thing first radius corner radius 1.5 see it is too big now it's change gap we don't need now comes down custom relief type now either unchecked and here put the dimension 1.5 1.5 see or even though you can just check ratio and click 1 Okay, now look, let's mirror, go to mirror, now first we have to choose a plane, so right plane is the suitable plane which is going to mirror, now here the first option is, let's say this one and make, select the hole, even though you can choose it from here also, say okay, now look, it's mirror. Now we are going to make this flange, this flange with bending, you will see this kind of bending. So we are going to use jog tool which is very useful tool or very helpful and very important tool in solid work sheet metal. Now it's very easy to create this one without doing too much calculation of bending because there is two bending and you need to apply a bending allowance and it, there is a critical calculation. So there is a simple way. What way? So I will create this shape. You will see 45 millimeter is the distance. Uh, this bending line. This, uh, we will consider this one as a bending line. And uh, okay, you will see here outside bending 10 millimeter, outer to outer. You will see. And then distance from inside to inside 45. This is also a important thing. Then uh, this diameter 10, you will see here and uh, what we call this one uh, inside ray there is a hole 5.5 and this center distance see 30 radius so we will create this one a sketch now I'll click this one this line convert entity so I don't need to draw again I'm going to take circle 30 click for construction say yes line 
now let's create a line convert entity and connect okay horizontal now let's make one more line connect with this select this tool three because we want to make symmetric relation symmetric choose origin point and this point vertical it is in one line hold this circle and this point coincide because this is lies on this now okay let's define this activate smart dimension this radius 5 diameter 5.5 this is fully defined a sketch so let's trim unnecessary lines power trim just move and see it is trimmed we trim this one also now we have one thing so just go to sheet metal press base flange or tab See, it's going to create up to thickness 1.5 much. Look. Now let's apply those bendings here. So first sketch. I am going to create a bending line. This is very important line. And distance from here to here, it's 45 by 2 millimeter. So it's 20. bend exit now now activate jog tool now first fix face so i am going to choose uh, below the line of this surface not up, upside i'll choose this one you will see it's going to bend reverse there is a uh, radius too much so radius 1.5 see it's a small now distance 10 mm but we will choose overall dimension means outside to outside now look you will see the preview if i am going to uncheck see this going to make shape like this but we want to fix projection i'll go fix projection see now bending also we took 45 distance from inside so i'm going to check material inside look and uh, okay rest everything is same as it is okay now let's try to mirror uh, make four number of patterns so i am going to use circular pattern feature let's say this one see unable to pattern the selected feature jog okay so it's difficult to mirror uh, pattern so let's again circular pattern features i am going to choose here tab circular edge this one four number of thing equal spacing 360 say okay look so we have to do manually one by one so i am not going to repeat the whole thing i am just face forward this one now here we finished now let's check the dimension so go to evaluate measure and i am going to choose this inside dimension this face to this face now see the center distance 45 this is what we need in our geometry so this is simply we did okay if you check flat pattern go to sheet metal and check flat pattern now see it is perfectly aligned 
see now the last feature let's check what is the last feature now here you will see one option see this is a gusset gusset size x y direction 10 mm width 7.5 draft angle 20 degree fillet 1 this is uh, remember this one there is a distance from center 30 mm 30 mm means from one side it's 10 mm so we will create one then we will make linear pattern to make all so go to sheet metal and here you will find option called sheet metal gusset fixed surface you have to choose two fixed surface so one two now see age already selected this line point this end point selected now offset from this point if you unchecked see it's moved this point but we need offset how much 10 millimeter now x y length 10 millimeter x 10 millimeter y and this is degree 45 degree corner or shape we need round okay thickness 7.5 we already fixed then a thickness 1.5 okay angle also if we unchecked see it is flat but if we make angle 20 degree see here inside and outside fillet 1 millimeter if you check full parallel view you will see the preview say okay look linear pattern now select this direction feature directly choose this one now distance center distance 30 millimeter look and we need three instances one two three so say okay look it's created see if we check flat pattern look because these kinds of gussets made by forming tool let me apply some appearance to this don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching